Hi, this is Riddick, Big Daddy Bo, the two-time former world heavyweight champion, and you're watching Cool True Sports. <laughs> True School Sports. True School Sports. There you go, champ. Thank you. Kids, you know, outside of my family, I took care of a lot of kids. Made sure that they ate, made sure that their parents had jobs and all these different types of things and scholarships to school, a lot of stuff I've done for, for, uh, for kids because I got that understanding. I had that understanding. That's my passion. Help people. Help people, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, they don't they don't want to help people. They, they're greedy. They want to keep everything for themselves. And I'm always going to make some money as long as I'm healthy. You know, I want you to make some money. That's, that's like the Silk and Diamond said with, uh, with Donald Trump. So I'm going to tell you one thing about Donald Trump. He wants everybody to make some money. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Silk. But anyway, yeah, he want everybody to make money. He want everybody to be healthy. He want it. I wrote a cookbook. I did all of it. They said, well, you going to sell your books? I'm not, no. Give it to people, change your diets and these, these type of things. My, my wealth and my greatness comes from my health. I had good health. All my life, I never been sick. Really? Yeah, so that's, to me, that's a blessing. I can still get out there and run three miles. I can get the heavy bag, do this. I ain't got no, I ain't no medication. Uh, I just been healthy all my life. So that's, that's, that's my wealth. As long as I'm healthy and strong, I can help other people. Yeah, it's, it's a massive blessing. You know, in terms of money, I'm ahead of them. Bentleys and Jaguars and Mercedes Benzes and, and big houses and condos and jewelry and hundreds of thousands of dollars. But you guys got all that jewelry. I had all that stuff. You know, so it, 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 that, I don't need none of that. All I need is continue to do what I'm doing. Yeah. And open up new programs and uh, hopefully one day turn this into a, a, a live in boxing academy for kids and professionals. Professionals upstairs and little kids downstairs. That'd be fantastic. I mean, it already kind of feels like a boxing academy, like in here. Like people really can't see the gym. Maybe they got to even tour the gym one day. But like, you know, you got this room over here on t to your to your left, and it's like yeah, like it's a, my TV room. It almost looks like a film study room. It could be like yeah, a film, film study room. Yeah, film and television. And everybody said, "Well, you you still you spend a lot of time in that room, and don't you get tired of being in the gym?" That's what you tell me. So I laugh. I was telling the guy the other day. I said, "You know, my 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 good friend Tom Jonah, who recently retired from radio, was Tom Jonah morning show." He and I was in Philadelphia once, and we went to Joe Frazier's gym. Okay. And uh, Joe was there, and so we were talking about, uh, we, Tom and I was talking about boxing. Joe Frazier wanted to talk about how he and his father ran moonshine. <laughs> but Joe Frazier moved into his gym. So he lived in a room in his gym upstairs, right? So everybody was saying, you know, it's sad that Joe, Joe living in the gym. Um, this, Joe was where he wanted to be. You know, Joe had the big house and all. Joe could have been living where he wanted to live, but Joe loved the gym. He loved being close to it. So I understand why he spent all that time in the gym. And I knew I liked being in the gym, so I fixed up me a little TV room so I could study films and uh, watch television, watch fights. You know, my, my little television room looks better than most people's house. It does, man. You got the zebra coat with a zebra? I had everything. That's Kenya. <laughs> my Tyson had a tiger named Kenya, so that's Kenya right there. Okay. But uh, yeah, so this is what, this is what we do. That's, this is what we do. Absolutely. You've been around boxing for so long, Stacey, and um, you've seen a lot of great fighters over the years. So I'm just going to ask you, um, do you, when you look at Charlie Bryan, do you, do you see a special heavyweight? Do you see a guy that can really make a mark in boxing? Well, it, it, a lot of people might say, well, Stacey, what's so special about Trevor Bryan? The thing about Trevor Bryan is Trevor Bryan can throw a lot of punches and his punches are accurate and he throw a lot of combinations for a big guy. Mm -hmm. Most big guys, they throw a lot of punches, they most of the arm punches. But he's throwing, he throwing punches and shifting his weight. He really knew how to box. But his, 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 um, his heart, not being afraid, his good chin, and his ability to throw as many punches as he does in combination is a little bit unusual for a big guy. Yeah. So that makes him special. And right now, he's never been hurt, he's never been knocked down, he never had any problems in the ring, so he's he's fresh. Um, he's, he's he's very fresh. He's a new face. Uh, he's a new face. We need new faces. People people got tired of seeing the same old fighters over and over and over. So now he's he's a good refreshment that's, that's coming into the into the ring. So Trevor Bryan is is gonna be right there. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, he seems like uh, right now the way it's lining up with Wilder losing, kind of being on the downward spiral. Miller being Gerald Miller being out the picture with the. Failed drug tests, you know. It looks like if he just wins a couple of fights, he'll be the guy in American heavyweight boxing. Look, that makes me something to you. You know, <laughs> you know, a lot of people, a lot of people, they, they, um, 
they get down on Miller. Mm. Yeah. Miller, Miller's on steroids, he's on drugs, he was in the MMA, he was suspended once in the MMA because he was on steroids, he was on drugs, and, and he's number one contender in the world as a, as, as a professional. Um, he done work, uh, he done work social media to the top, uh, top of the top of this game, and, and uh, he's been fighting on Showtime a little bit. He fought it. All these things that people are saying, right? About Miller, the negative thing they're saying about Miller. What you need to do, management, mm. trainers. What you need to do, the trainers is part of management, promoters, and all this. And Michael Jackson said it best. It's the man in the mirror. Okay. All these things that you're saying, these negative things you're saying about this fight, that's your fault. You're the one that got caught. You're the one that went along with all of this. You're the one that haven't tested yourself. That's your fault. Okay? I had to fight. I had I done had drug head fighters. Okay? That, that probably wouldn't have been able to fight and disqualified. But it was Stacey McKinley that said, wait a minute. I know what I'm dealing with right here. I'm not trusting you. Okay, I'm gonna trust me. Let's go down here and get tested. I go do my own test. Yeah. Have them tested myself. And when they come back, the doctor say everything is fine. Or everything is not fine. I don't get down into to the battle testing and get to the fight and, 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 and let this guy come out dirty. You know? Stacy, what are you thinking about? What do you think? It's your fault. It's just like it's like I, I explained to the guy about 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 Mike Tyson. Listen, Don King put you in a fight. I said, look, you go with this fighter and you take care of this fight, okay? Now, make sure he doesn't get into trouble. Make sure it is, okay? Now, you with this fighter, you have to take the responsibility upon yourself. If this man stepped off a curb in front of a car and he ran over, it's your fault. Now, you may say, well, he's a grown man. He should know better than walking out in front of that car. No, 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 no. It's your fault that he walked in front of that car because you're supposed to be his guardian angel. That's your job. It's your fault. And that's the way I see boxing. When it happens on a level like that, it's my fault if I let it happen. Not the fighter's fault. It's your fault. Once you think it's the fighter's fault, he ain't got nothing to do with it because he's a grown man, you need to go get your job at General Motors. Damn. Because he ain't going to be in this shit too long. Yeah, yeah. You know, he ain't going to be in this too long. It's just like Earl Spence. It's just like Earl Spence. Mm -hmm. Everybody... But man, Earl, Earl, you know, he, he was drinking and, and he was like, oh, I don't want to hear about what Earl did. Where, y where were you? The trainer. Where was you? You knew he had these problems. How did he get them keys and get in that dog on car and drive and you knew he had these problems? Where he was at? You got a multi-million dollar fighter. A fighter going into superstar. You got a paid per view fighter. Getting rid of some of the greatest fights in the world. And you sitting up here telling me you let him get take the key. But it's, he's a grown man. It's done at all. It doesn't work like that, brother. It doesn't work like that. You got to put somebody with that fighter day and night. Look, wherever you go, you go. If he want to drive, you take the keys. Now, if he go hard and fight with you, I'll hard and fight with him. Pretty soon, he's going to get used to it. He said, if you don't show up, he'll say, well, where is so-and-so? He know I can't drive tonight. I try to learn that, hey, he's protecting me. Now, if you don't have, see, this is why Don King was the best at it. Because Don understood all of what I'm telling you. And I learned from him, you know. I learned from him, hey, it's your fault. So, get back to what you're saying, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fault the title. And it's your fault. Yeah, yeah. Like Jackson says, the man in the mirror. You got to change your ways. And understand what it takes to protect these fighters. If don't you ain't gonna have shit, I tell you that right now. The whole train. Boom, it's your boy Big Baby Miller's Trader of Brooklyn. You're watching True School Sports. Tune in, sucker.